Yo. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome aboard. What's for dinner? Brains. That's what's for dinner. Now I see chat talking about uh, Parmesan chicken and leftover pasta and stuff. Pasta sounds good. I don't know what I'll be doing tonight, but I will be playing Welcome to Paradise right now. Welcome aboard. This is a game we saw a few days ago on the channel, and everybody loved it and wanted me to play some more. And I think it's a cool thing to actually, um, you know, play a little bit more. Um, the devs gave me early access to a demo that I think is coming out for everybody next week. Um, maybe during the Steam Next event, but the game will be dropping on February 29th. Oh, it looks like it's actually out for now for everybody. Cool. So, um... 25 bucks out on uh, the 29th, but the demo's out now, so you can play along and or play yourself and see um, what you think about it, and it's pretty cool, actually. I've enjoyed it so far. Um, I think it like a little more lighthearted Project Zomboid. It, this this game's supposed to be dumb, funny, and goofy, and so like we're literally going to be shooting zombies with like pellet guns and squirt guns and stuff, but it's a little more than that. Um, with a little, little bit, little bit more, a little bit more. So, uh, well, let's watch some of the trailers and then we'll jump in. This is the type of game where we get to control the zombies ourselves. Like we get to build a base and have them build it for us. So we get to employees. That'll be pretty cool. So let's check it out and uh, see where uh, where we end up. Let's go. Hello there, survivors. Uh, video, videos Hello? on the channel if you want to watch Serum, which is like a cool first-person survival shooter. And maybe we'll play that soon, too. Let's check this trailer as well. Fed up with fleeing, hiding, and fighting in a world infested with zombies? Well, put your trust in me, Jeff Tusk. And put your trust in paradise. Thanks to our zombie guard technology, everyone is safe. Zombies won't attack you. They'll defend you. Paradise is a safe place for everyone, where you'll have nothing more to fear. Jo join me. Everyone is welcome in, in paradise. Shh, I know, Brian. Stop fixating. You have to move on. It was a beautiful dream. How could Dad have done any better? You should be ashamed of yourself. After everything I've done for you. Well, you know what? Oh, forget it.
So, if you like Humanity Z, if you like Project Zomboid, if you like base builders, top-down games, then this is definitely for you. Love it. All right, let's take a look at the demo. We've already played this a bit, but I wanted to come back and play some more because it seems like a lot of fun. And we'll be playing the full release, too. Hopefully I don't miss it, that is, because, you know. I, there's been a lot of games this year that have just come out, and then I completely miss them. That. All right, cool. Yep. Yep, this is a wacky, as we say, dumb fun. Like, it's like, just don't, wor don't worry about it. Just have a good time. I will make a new character, too. Oh, also, this game will be multiplayer, so you can play, like, couch co-op, where it's, like, split screen, where two people can play, or you can play up to four players online. So there's that, which is cool. Uh, tab to delete. Let's make a new character. Let's pick... We got business lady, uh, Joel, uh, paranoid lady, villain from uh, Far Cry, uh, Jort, or wait, yo yoga pants, some fancy pants, DJ, lady. Business guy, other lady, other guy. All right, um, I guess we pick this guy. That's fine. Let's pick this dude. It doesn't really matter. It's just appearance anyway. You want me to pick Mohawk? All right, we'll pick Mohawk. Let's pick Mohawk. Oh, there he was. Number four, Mohawk man. All right, cool. And single player it is. Get rid of that one. And let's start a new game. Let's go. Arby's Are employee. Are you tired of constantly fleeing? Of hiding? Of struggling in a world infested by zombies? Yeah, we'll play more broken. Are you exhausted? Without resources. A home. No more pork and beans. Without anyone to rely on. Don't despair. Hang in there. You still have a chance. Join us. Join Paradise. Here in Paradise, everyone is safe and everything is secure thanks to our zombie guard technology. There it is. It's a haven of peace where zombies are under our control. Here, zombies no longer attack you, they defend you. Yes, you heard that right. It's incredible. Thanks to our zombie guard technology, zombies have become genuine bodyguards that serve you. Thousands of acres were Yeah, a lot of people were mentioning how to survive too, and, and some people were saying it was the same deaths. Far from so. the pandemic, thanks to this groundbreaking technology. I didn't Stores, play that game. Security guards, hospitals, industry movie theaters a safe place for everyone where men women and children have nothing more to fear yeah, they put a lot of work into this zombies intro. you don't fun. need money a title or diploma to get your own zombie guard everyone is welcome in paradise everyone is welcome in Par everyone is welcome everyone is welcome I like how this game isn't like brutal or hardcore it is bloody, but they're kind of going more for like, hey, let's just let's make a game that seems fun, which is what I thought about Man Eater. You guys remember Man Eater? That was the game where you like the big O shark, and you were just like going around and just jumping on land and eating people and stuff. It was dumb, and it was great because of it. Like it was just like that's stupid. I want to play more. Like it was good in every in every way. All right, uh, welcome to paradise. Cross the pit and enter the park. All right, so what do we got here? Hot bar, health, maybe stamina. Oh, yeah. Then there's also temperature, too, so we're going to have to worry about clothes. And we do have a flashlight. Oh, yeah. oh we can switch weapons. I think that's what that's for. Like that. 
Uh, oh, that looks unsafe. Hi, guys. Was that chat? Hi, chat. Hope you're, <laughs> hope you're all doing good down there. You guys hungry for more content? All right, I'm working on it. Love you. You guys are nice. The zombies pick up sticks and deliver them for the generator, I see. Guardian Shelter. Hello. Ah, I could watch them all day. Don't even need to fetch wood. They feed the generator all by themselves. No more worrying about electricity. Maybe I could teach them to cultivate my veggie garden. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Didn't see you there. <laughs> Are you wanting to move in here? Uh, wait. Uh, hold up. What am I supposed to do? No one ever wants to move in here. Uh, uh, yes, the bylaws. Yes, that's it. Rule number one of the Paradise Bylaws. To gain authorization to move in, you must have a Zombot. No one should move around in Paradise without Zombot protection. So before anything else, find a Zombot. Go see Bob. He supplied mine. Hmm, okay, we gotta go find Bob. He'll give us that stuff. All right, don't die and find Bob. You got it. Press M to open the map. Oh, we can mark. We can mark the map. Okay. How do I delete my markers? I oh, was click them again. Bob's not too far away. Here's the map, but it's kind of hard to tell how big that is. And this could just be for the demo, too. This might not be the whole map. It could just be demo size. Oh, my God. Look at the head on the stick. Wait, that sounds like zo saying zombie paradise. Maybe that's ambient. Look at this place, it's a scam. There's there's no houses here, it's just pictures. Just billboards. <laughs> and this car is plowed right into one. Okay. This is a fast travel point there, okay. Well, let's go find our way through. Does anyone talk to me about my Zombot extended warranty? We gotta go get one first. Hi, zombies. wonder if there's weapon durability. This is a brilliant concept. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh, overturned bus. We found leaves. Level up. We got a skill point. Oh, I spend that. We got hacking, combat, survival. Love the zombie up there. Um, no, I'll hold on to it for now. Bob's Archives P-48-3, the emotional support zombot. Open the portable pylon configuration menu. <laughs> Equip Is the white bear cocaine bear if you want it to be order it to heal you while in combat and to collect items while out of combat oh okay we can use them as a uh, a gathering thingy and that's it a zomba to heal you transport you and collect items of course hmm? there's more to life than combat of course So Bob is, I think that's, oh, there's Bob. All right, we gotta go up.
Bop. Bop, 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 bop. Hi, guys. Uh oh. <gasps> Scrap. Oh, I'm getting a little, little over overwhelmed here. Oh, boy. Help me, boys. Bob. Oh, hey! You're new here, right? Ha. I'm Bob. I'm the one who got the Zombot technology back up and running. The zombie hacking. <laughs> you want Zombot? I can't give you mine. I need them too much. So, you should capture your own. Grab a broken helmet from one of the malfunctioning Zombots in front of my camp. Repair it and force it onto the head of a wild zombie. Ha <laughs> ha! If it stops wanting to eat you, it's worked. If not, uh, run. Okay. Now we have a hacking helmet, but we need to repair it. Open the inventory with I. Go to craft and make the craft the what now? Hacking helmet. Okay, we need to get a broken hacking helmet though. We gotta rip one off of a zombie. Alright. Like that one. Yeah, this one. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Hey, nice. A helmet to control zombies emits one of a kind white noise. These four scrap and the broken hacking helmet. Done. Approach a zombie that you've knocked down and press F to put on a hacking helmet. There we go. We have an employee. Speak with Bob. We made a friend, Chad, our first friend. Well, well, well. Not bad, right? This zombot will follow you everywhere, but if you want to give it precise orders, you'll need to use the tech I developed. You'll be my guinea pig. Take this antenna, attach it to your backpack. Mm. With this, you'll have much finer control over your zombot. Oh, feel free to give it a try. Zombie hacking was quite buggy until we started working on it, uh, me and my buddies. I know what I'm doing, trust me. This thing probably won't explode. Probably. It might, but probably not. All right, now we gotta go back to the warden. Oh, it's raining now. Pretty. We get some more zombie recruits. Take that, a zombie target. Oh, we leveled up again. I'll spend some skill points when we go talk to Bob. Can I make another helmet? Damn. Our zombie friend does a crazy amount of damage. Nice. 
I don't think I can capture more. I'm going to have to get an upgrade for that. I think so. All right, let's go back to the warden. Nope. No F, only E. Okay, we gotta go around the forest. Fight for me, minions. You again? Feed my generator with mood. My zombies are down, and the gate won't close without electricity. Press the go. button. Close the gate. We can't let any other wild zombies get in. Got it. Zombie friend still. I guess our zombie died. <clears throat> our main zombie died to death. We got a replacement. Ah, oh, one less. Well, that'll teach me to forget to close the gate. Thankfully, the pit keeps most wild zombies out of paradise. And you found a zombot? Great! Here are the plans for building your camp. You need to go to the other side of the river, to the wild forest. Be careful out there. There's no one left there, and the Zombots are out of control. You'd better find yourself a weapon. Don't look at me like that. I can't do the cleaning as well as watch the gate. Go see the circus sharpshooter who has settled in the area. Circus sharpshooter? Let's find Pedro? Okay. I might need wood to build a base. I'm just going to grab it all. What's up, General Sorrow? How you doing? Welcome. Good to see you. We need a pistol in the future. I think we're about to get one. Hence the uh, circus sharpshooter. Sage. Ooh. Not to be confused with Sag. Yeah, let's make another. Okay, apparently we can make a bunch of these devices. Make like. I, think I made. All right, let's make eight. I think that'll give us ten. Oh, we have. We're broken. And we'll make more later. All right, let's do some skills. What should we do? We got three points to spend. We got hacking, combat, and survival. Maybe we'll put one to, into each. Uh, let's see. Uh, increase the Zombot HP. Increase the amount of scraps recovered by Zombots. Zombots run away and regenerate their health more quickly. 
Faithful Steed. Oh, we can actually ride them like a mount, too. Service Station. Replace your dead zombies uh, with each fast travel and heal the ones that are still with you. Allows you to revive your KO'd zombots. I want one. I want more health. Also, give me, give me more basic health. Plus 50 damage. Increase the amount of damage taken by enemies who have not spotted you. Shoot before getting seen. It's an excellent way to avoid getting in trouble. Huh? Increase the amount of damage dealt by ranged weapons. Allows you to make perfect executions. This will inflict a lot of damage on surrounding enemies. Time to compensate for the difference in numbers. Backhander. I'll just take the base damage. Give me the give me the basic upgrades, the classics. Oh, I didn't uh, do our third one. Survival. Beast. Increase your HP. Or stamina regen. Give me HP. Let's make some bandages. Oh, look. We can sort by guns, too. All right, let's make some bandages. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, more of those targets. Now we do get XP for attacking, so probably a good idea to do that. We got a zombie saddle, 50% of the recipe. 75. Uh, use V to open the zombie hacking menu and equip your zombot with gear you've recovered from enemies. There's a stick for you and a saddle. Oh, we can only do... Oh, I gotta research it some more. Okay. Alright, we gotta go south. Bob's archives P-48- We already got that. What's up, Cozy Joe? Welcome back. Hello. Look at all these zombies. Now we can make a zombie saddle. Oh, cool. Once we get the recipe, it'll just become scrap. We can pick up more scrap that way. Hello? How did you manage to make it here? You're looking for a weapon? Good timing. My, uh... Zombots have started attacking everything that moves, including me. I need someone to teach them some manners. I'll let you take their weapons if you finish them off. Okay. Good idea. I like it. Give me some guns, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, no. No. I got guns. Gun went flying. Wait, wait. I don't have ammo. Dirty rotten undead. Destroy the pylon, kiddo. I'm done with that 
Brainiac and his newfangled technology. Bob's archives P-21-1, the high scores on Bob. Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Equip your Zombot with a zombie target and an air pistol, then order it to use its weapon while in combat. Hi. And that's it! While the zombies try to hit the bullseye, it's your Zombot who's strafing them! <laughs> Cutscenes of the year. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, free stuff. Hey, we activated a fast travel point. I think our zombie died. I'll need to get another one. You work for me now. Okay, where's that zombie configuration menu? So, combat. Not them. All right, there we go. And we got another point. Let's do more. Oh, we got to spend five points before we get to the next tier. Okay. I like the whole melee. Give me more. Uh, give me more melee damage. Wait, what else did that say? Okay, this five percent each time. So now we do ten percent more dim damage. We must see the weather. We did it, Thank Pedro. Thank you, kiddo. You're welcome. Oh, I didn't have enough bullets to finish him off, but otherwise, I most certainly would have. This cataract won't stop me hitting the bullseye. Anyway, uh, can I sign you an autograph for your trouble? What? <laughs> sure. You've never heard of me. I'm the most famous, the most celebrated, and the sharpest of all sharpshooters in the history of circus, kiddo. I'm Pedro the Great. Because I like you. Uh, here's a little tip from Uncle Pedro. Zombies start to swarm when you try to run away. It's best to take them out right away. If you run, you're as good as done. A quick punch, and you won't be lunch. <laughs> okay. We've now unlocked planks. Repair a bridge. We take rope and planks. And let's make like five and five. Oh, we made four. All right, we'll make more if we need to. So it looks like these bridges will give us access to more of the maps. We've got to repair a few of them. Repair one over here. Two. Ah. He's... All right. What's up, Grant? Oh, it's not me in the bush. An ambush. We can build a bridge here. Map's pretty. We gotta destroy a pylon in the north. Wait, did I? Wait, what the hell? Oh, wait. Ooh, look at this. We got a much better weapon. All right, never mind. That's part of our problem. 
Get an actual decent weapon. Baseball bat, 17 DPS. Times 3 critical. Uses the power of a mighty bat. 200,000 year old timeless classic. Also, we got a gun too, but I don't know if we have ammo for it. Can I craft ammo? I can. Okay. Yeah, give me all the ammo. There we go. That'll do us good. Okay, let's go repair all the bridges. Can we buy stuff from Pedro? I feel like he should be a merchant. No. And... Alright, we have bandages in the hot bar. Looks like they're starting to turn up the difficulty now. Before we could like backhand zombies in two or three hits, now now it's like the real deal. For real, Leo. Now we get a gun. Let's use a gun for a first time. Oh, nice. Also, he's got the target on him. You should be the one they go they go for. Spiky armor, 50%. Oh, we can make armor? And it'll do damage to them when they attack us. Okay, now we gotta make our own base. So we need seven metal tubes, 11 metal plates, 12 nails, and we need to make six planks, which means more wood. Okay, now we get to finally make our own base. Let's go find materials and we'll start our our own base. And then we can automate the, the zombies and they can go get, uh, build stuff for us. So they'll cut down trees and do stuff for us. Good. Find a source of wood. Oh, God. Oh, we can get attacked in the menus. Whoa! Got a range zombie attacking us? Good point. Common air pump gun. Like a shotgun? There we go. I think I like melee much more. Oh, nice. Good hit. Oh, that guy sounded the alarm. Oh, he's down. Here they come. Trumpet. Oh, I like how on the mini-map they show you where stuff is, too. Shows if we missed something. Oh, I don't see what's here. We do more damage from a stealth kill. Oh, what the hell is this? Forest mass grave. <laughs> Damn. Well, that's all the way over there. Yeah, it sounds like Smash Mouth. Oh my god, what the hell are those? Were those ferrets? Oh god, one's on my leg, kill it! What the hell was that? Oh, 
that's a fast one. Whoa, what the hell? These guys got propellers? Okay. And we need more metal plates. I can't wait till we can make our own base. I want zombies like that. called a booster okay we can change our zombie types with that there we go okay craft more ammo so we also have a common air pump gun can i use that a shotgun wait uh fires nails Flash shards, teeth, anything that can fit inside. Does that include the pellets? Air pistol pellets. That must be specific for that. <gasps> we can make armor. Uh, let's see. Left arm. Right arm. Oh, we're missing. Oh, more rope and leaves. Okay. We can at least put something on. Oh, we already did. Automatic. Oh, cool. Automatic equipment. That's helpful. Love when uh, devs put that in where if you make armor, it just automatically pops on. Oh, I guess that does take air pellets. Okay. Obviously better for crowd control. Is that guy carrying a beehive? I think he is. I don't want to go near that. Ah, we could have our zombie do it. What, what did he get? Honey. Oh, sweet. Oh. There went a leg or an arm. Him, bro. Get that honey. So I wonder how multiplayer is going to work. Like if you're playing with four players, that's going to be four people that could be on the screen at the same time fighting zombies. Plus they get a zombie army. So you'd have like four zombie commanders. And then like, you know, I don't know, eight or ten zombies that you could command and everybody could customize it. That'd be cool. Everyone might be able to build their own base too. the pellet gun a little bit better especially with the range you can get the extra damage kill for killing from a distance can we break these down we can we get parts for that we do 10 scrap okay now oh, that gives us more ammo that give me another 100 rounds Cool. So this is a lumber camp, so we can kind of make a base here to get more wood. Go you know, shoot your eye out, kid, yeah. Two shots, we can deal with those guys. Way better than the shotgun. Okay, we need more metal plates, which means I think we got to keep attacking these camps.
Oh yeah, way better. Was that guy? He had pillows wrapped all around him. Heavy armor. How complicated could that be to figure out how to take pillows and wrap duct tape around it? It's cool too, each of these locations, the zombies seem to have a different weapon, like the like the beehive, you know? Or this one they have like heavy armor. We go to different places in the map with different stuff. Makes sense. We need to make a few more planks. What was it? Two out of six? Let's make four. Cool. Now we just need metal plates. Unless I can make those. Let's see it in the list. Burm, 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 burm. Press T to use your flashlight. Well, look at that. At night, zombies become stronger. Use your flashlight to blind them. Oh. Oh, cool. That's actually really cool. So they're stronger, but we can take them on a little easier one by one. Nice. You added this to your Steam wish list? Enjoy. We had a video earlier on the channel that was sponsored. They paid me to play it, but I enjoyed it a lot to where I wanted to come back because there's more content here than just like wandering around and shooting stuff, which is all they wanted me to do. And I'm like, are you sure? And they're like, yeah, whatever. Bye. And I was like, okay. Well, these guys are like really armored. I guess wep uh, ammo. Guns. But yeah, this seemed like a lot of fun. You know, this actually reminds me of like a top-down like Dead Island or um, like Dying Light. You know, just with how like the combat kind of feels and stuff. It just feels fun. It's like Back for Blood. No, I, I liked Back for Blood though. That was cool. I enjoyed playing that with Jessica B and Jerry. Cool. I miss Jerry, chat. I wish you were around. But, 2D calls. <laughs> Duty. Our goal, chat, is to get Jerry into one stream in the year of 2020. Oh boy, 2024. Okay, I think we need to get another upgrade, spend a skill point. And it's going to be on the gun. I like the melee a bit more, but the gun is actually... But the bonus of being able to do more damage when they don't see us is huge. Okay, so let's do... Yo combat. Let's do the stealthy shot and then let's go with agonizing shot. Yeah. I, I can see myself putting a lot of points into combat, especially at the start. Be post over there. Let's go over there. I think we need to destroy one more. Might be our last one. Make more bandages. What's up, D-pad dad? Welcome, dude. Uh, bandage. Let's make like another five. Make six. We're gonna even twelve. Good number. Disco Elysium with zombies. I actually bought Disco Elysium. I do want to do a playthrough of that as well. There's so many games, Jet, over the last 10 years. And there's all these new games coming out, too. It
You're enjoying the game so far? Can't wait to play it? Good. Keep in mind, this is a free demo on Steam. Everybody can play this. There we go, fast travel point. Beep, boop, beep, beep. That's what that is. Okay. What are these? I saw one of those earlier, but I don't I don't know if I could interact with those. The little like yellow screens. Oh hi. Whoa, damn. to shelter and we build our own base build the shelter build a weapons workshop and build a wood generator I think this is a good spot for a base we do need to go near a wood cutting area though maybe we'll build over there bush hideout uh, to build open your inventory and go to the buildings tab oh there it is so there's our house Wood generator, a pylon, wall. Oh, we could build walls too, yeah. Weapons, workshop, and then that bush. I need more uh, leaves. I want to make that armor. Can I, like, cut down a tree? Get leaves. Go. Whoa, 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 what the hell? You're supposed to protect me. Forced mass grave. Oh, those are POIs. Broken mega hoop. What now? Like a piping system that runs through this place. Hunting, oh, that's what that is. Hunting area and abandoned lumberjack camp. Let's go build up there. There's literally two spots next to each other. It's a pretty good find. Yeah, we get to do some building now. Let's go build a base. We're not beating squirrels out here. Okay, so let's try to build here. Looks like a good spot. Uh. Squirrels are watching me from the tree line. I knew there, <laughs> I knew there was gonna be squirrels. Okay, buildings, let's build our shelter. Uh, beware, it's forbidden to use building tab out of the forest. Place the store items and take the hoop to any unlocked outpost. Oh, damn. We legit get to build a huge base. That's actually legit. Right. Well, now that I know it's such a big building, do we want to build here? Can I build on top of this? Oh. Can I rotate? Doesn't look like I can rotate, but it does look like our base consumes power. All right, there we go. Your shelter includes a mega hoop station, which allows you to faster travel from your camp. In the inventory, press A to dismantle all your duplicate weapons and recover the materials to craft, use to craft them. Oh, that's cool. An auto, uh, auto removal system. 
Ah, nice. Gets rid of duplicates. Very nice. Use the camp stores located next to the shelter downstairs to access items and inside. Yeah, it looks like they did a pretty good job with this game. And then there's camp storage there. Okay. Build a weapons workshop and a wood generator. Weapons workshop. They're big building. A wood generator. Uh, wasn't there a wood pile there? Okay. That's cool. Uh, the generator provides electricity to camp pylons. If it runs out of fuel and shuts down, your pylons will be deactivated. Power up the generator. Build a pylon in the wood cutting area. Uh, use this to control zombies, interact with it to change the configuration of the zombies around. Oh, this is like a control point. There's like literally wood there so we can get them to gather it. We'll set this guy to... Oh, and then we can assign number of zombies. Okay. So you're out of combat now, pal. You're going to be working here. Expert mode. Let the pylon... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it deploys zombies? Oh, we don't have to capture more? Set the pylon to collect wood. You can have multiple zombies. Oh, let's do three. So how do I get them to collect wood? Open the pylon interface, add zombies, and enable collect action. They'll just do it automatically because they're near wood. Yep. Okay, there they go. Answer the call on the communication terminal. Oh, there's one. That's what these yellow things are. They're a phone, like a phone. Hold on. People, I am trying to make a phone call here. Rude. Get out of here, ducks. New phone, who dis? Hello, Jeff Tusk here, owner of Paradise, the H2 Lunar Base, and much more. We've just detected your presence in the park. You won't be able to stay very long. The invasion is growing outside the perimeter. Uh -oh. It'll be a tidal wave and complete carnage for any survivors. It's the end for Paradise, the end for Earth. All inhabitants have been evacuated to the H2 Lunar Base. We're safe and comfortable here. Humanity's future is up here, not down there. Let me think. Uh, we could come back to find you. Our rockets can land almost anywhere. You just need to build a launch pad strong enough for us to land and launch off again. If I remember correctly, oh. we used a material that was suitable for reinforcing the fence around Paradise. Build the structure for us and let me know when it's... So he wants us to make a uh, landing pad. Find alloy plates. Those are... A little far away. Alright, let's make weapons before we leave at the base. The base looks so cool. Uh, craft. What do we got? Wow, we got a lot of weapons. A club. 
wooden boomerang rare air pistol that's a good one that's like double our current level uh air machine gun refined air rifle rare air rifle there's crossbows too can't make those well i can make the uh, rare air pistol so let's make that Ammo capacity 8. Wow. 1.5 critical shot. 55 damage. 8.8 .8 seconds to aim. Pretty good. That. If I had another one, I could give it to our zombie friend. Also, let's make a better melee weapon. This 42 DPS. And the current battle only does 17. Wow. Big upgrade. It's grayed out. I can't use it. Oh, do I have to be level 8 before I can use that? Okay, we're pretty close to level 8, so I should be able to use it shortly. Okay. Well, at least we made it. I hear a lot of zombies. Hi from the Philippines? Hello. Game looks fun? Yes, this is a shenanigans game for sure, Emma. You know, you just clobbering zombies and just doing whatever, you know. Base looks cool. Oh, a farmer. There we go. Now, let's make sure we set this guy to combat. Yep. Now, about to get another better gun. Now I can use it. Sweet. Ooh, fast reload, too. Yeah, real fast. This is cool. bunch of Did I make that new armor too? I gotta find leaves. I don't know how to do that. Like another hundred rounds or so. That'll do. I think we got a nail gun. Sage. You smell big shenanigans? Big. You know, this game also reminds me of Dismantle a bit, but Dismantle felt a little more, <clears throat> a little more serious, although it was still dumb fun, the game with the crowbar. Loved playing that one. Now let's go... Now. Whoa! Shotgun boys. take their stuff. Oh, we can make another bridge. Three rope, two rope, three plank. Maybe let's make a whole stack because we're probably going to see more bridges anyway. Cool. Oh my god, chicken! Oh my god, ducks! Hold the line! Oh 
my god, they're terrifying. Totally ambushed. <laughs> Got ambushed. Is that a chest? <gasps> Loot goblin. <sighs> oh, let's go. What is that? Pedro's golden knife. Oh, I wonder if that'll be a quest. Oh, if it is, we've already completed it. Alright, well, way ahead of that. If you ask for that, then we know where to find it. Go, uh... Let's go north. There's actually uncharted territory. Hissing cobras. Look at the ducks coming again. I killed them for XP. And scrap. Brother, yeah, brother, brother, yeah, Morgan. Oh, that was great. Let's go north, brother. Yeah. What is this? Wolf carts? What's up, Anthony? Welcome. Oh, you aren't sure if I changed my mind about tonight? Um, no, we'll, we'll probably play in, in Shrouded. But the problem is, I want to play in Shrouded and I want to play uh, Snowrunner. So if I if I play in Shrouded at night, or if I play Snowrunner at night, then we won't be able to play in Shrouded. So. I don't know. We'll just keep on our regular old adventure. But I do love driving through the mud. Direct, sir. Lots of friends. Hello. The left. This game makes me want to watch Shaun of the Dead again. You guys ever see Shaun of the Dead? These guys. Don't let him touch you. Covered in spikes. Hmm. Now research spiky armor. If we sit here, I think this thing will shoot out another zombie, so we could just kind of farm them until we get the recipe. Cool movie, yeah. Yeah, Sean, I, I don't know, I saw like a, a video pop up, somebody analyzing like the two scenes where it's like Sean's normal day before the zombie apocalypse and then Sean's normal day after the zombie apocalypse and he doesn't, he doesn't know there was a zombie apocalypse and he's just going through the same, he like wakes up, goes down the same street, goes to the same store, as if nothing happened, there we go, let's farm baby. We can repair the bridge. The Winchester. Yeah. Great movie. That's a good example of this game. Like, um... You know, like, uh... Shaun of the Dead is to zombie movies what this is to zombie games. Like, it's like, yeah, the, the whole rules of zombies still apply, but it's kind of like, but they don't, and it's just 
this is for a good time. As we're like, you got like, you know, Dawn of the Dead or like Resident Evil or something else in the other movies. World War Z. They're all like serious trying to find a cure. Here they're just being fun about it. 28 days later, maybe. We're full on stuff. Let's recycle. Doing in 10 scrap. That's more ammo, baby. Make some more ammo. No, we got 200 rounds. We're good. Fast travel. Yeah, hot fuzz. Yep, yeah. Another good example. Whoa, hi guys. So many of you. Awful movie. I watched it when I was 10 and couldn't sleep for days. Really? Shaun of the Dead? No. Okay, we got a skill point. Attack speed wall in the set. Zombots do more uh, damage with ranged weapons. Okay. Try to get up to that tier. I gotta spend some points in this category to get the uh, zombie to be a little bit more effective. It's active now. Yeah, Shaun of the Dead is a wonderful example. A movie with a lot of comedy, and uh, it's a, a very smart movie. And very dumb at the same time. Genius. That should have won an Oscar. Quite sensitive with horror things. All right, well, if you're sensitive to horror things, this is certainly the very light into the horror genre. Things are supposed to be creepy in this game, but we'll be all right. Don't worry. We're safe. We're okay. We be aight. Yeah. These are friendly zombies. We're just getting water. Looks like we're almost there to one. Hi there. <laughs> Goodbye. Ooh, we can actually shoot through multiple zombies. Cute. Safe zone in Raptoria. That's nah, alright. It's it's not not scary. Maybe that's suggestive, but or subjective? Just subjective. Game game fun, me like. Oh hey, hey, hey. Don't like that. Answer yourself, ma'am.
supposed to be some sort of an alloy around here. No. Don't tell me the alloy plate is the door. Oh no. Are the alloy plates the door itself? Oh no. That can't be it. Oh, uh, I think I think the fence is the alloy. Oh no! You go do it. I'll be over here. This is gonna be very bad. Tag zombie. There it is. No, that's bandage. I don't see it marked on the mini map. Should it be down here? Please. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, that. Oh, it's covered by bees. Oh. That must be. That's it right there, because it's marked with the exclamation point. But I can't. Attack, bro. Oh, there it goes. I had to be further away from the gate. Oh, there we go. Oh, boy. I hope he doesn't die. They're coming! Zombie, go get that stuff. Reminds me of music in like Tony Hawk, you know, when you start skateboarding on a level and the music just kicks up like that. Golden knife. Oh, th that must be some sort of a currency then. More quest. Huh. In 38 rounds, we're good.
Oh, more zombies. All right, what do we got now? Zombie mask armor. Oh, we got the zombie head. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Give it the shotgun. Does that do anything, actually? Oh, yeah. Provides six armor. Mask to help you blend in with the crowd. Somewhat surprisingly, it emits a pleasant frag fragrance of orange blossom. Wow. What's the expert mode in the Zombot tab? Uh, it lets you do more customization for percentages of things. Like, you know, you can give them two orders and then you can tell them what percentage of the time you want them to do the order. So, like... It doesn't have to be 50. You could tell them to do two things, but you can have it be like 25, 75, that kind of thing. All right, now we got to go all the way to the south. Let's go down. A truck, brother? Hell yeah. Bro. The Alan Tusk Memorial. Conquest of space. Work on artificial intelligence, neural implants to make humankind more efficient and orderly, and research into rebuilding the DNA of extinct animals. These are just some of the, the examples of Alan Tusk's legacy. Legend has it that Alan Tusk came up with the idea for his first inventions, Power Everywhere and Mega Hoop, while on a camping trip in this very spot, which took an unfortunate turn when he ran out of food and electricity during the night. 20 years later, he was building the first prototype for Power Everywhere, a reversible electric induction charging matrix in this very forest. Wow. This revolutionary technology replaced electric outlets in all modern buildings, and its powerful electromagnetic field even increases life expectancy, nope. as demonstrated by all the studies we have published. Never be afraid of the dark again with Power Everywhere. You are also standing on top of the first prototype for another invention, the Mega Hoop an ultra-fast pneumatic delivery system for small, medium, and large packages. Rollout of the Mega Hoop across the country was suspended after protests from the United Delivery Person Coalition, who saw it as a threat to the primary source of employment worldwide. Thankfully, Alan Tusk presented his arguments and the many advantages of the technology, and the rollout resumed with a successful delivery rate of 84%. Alan Tusk chose to be cryogenically preserved here, under this monument, close to his inventions. Aww. Okay, well that gives us some more lore. Well, that's, that's that dude's dad? Wendy's. Look at all these trucks, brother. Leaves. We gotta keep going down this way.
Better not run. I'm going to miss a ton of stuff on the ground. I need more leaves to make armor. All right. Now what do we got to pick up? Another gate panel? I bet. Yep. Hi, guys. Oh, it begins. Am I planning on doing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Perhaps. We'll see. Exclamation point schedule. Here they go. Forming me, that's good. Set combat for his use to gun. Let's see. Oh, I, yeah, you're right. I had him set to uh, use and not flee. Or other way around. Okay, cool. Thanks, chat. I clicked that when we were doing the wood thing, I think, thinking he was going to be assigned to that. Hey, a chest. See what's in here. Maybe another piece of armor? A zombie mask with pigtails. Oh, how cute. What if I can actually salvage these for no. Uh, build the rocket launch pad. I'm going to look around a little bit before we do that. scraps revive a killed zombie that's fine and can I oh I can make more armor now so we made the left thing let's make the right arm we can make the oh I don't need the head armor I think our other armor is probably better than that. So these provide one. The helmet provides six. So this the helmet's staying on. What is that down there?
What if Bob has more quests for us? Still gotta make make our base too. Hopefully we can make some actual traps instead of just walls. Walls are cool and all, but I want to be able to kill them and get all the loot. Let's go check in with Bob. Bob's your uncle. No quests? Okay. That was worth a shot. Yeah, let's see. So if we're going to build... launch pad we need one more rope all right then we have to go back to our base to build it I think I picked this up. What is this? Bob's Archives P-89-5, the social distancing zombot. Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Equip your zombot with spiked armor and a bat. And order it to use this to provoke enemies while in combat. Oh. And that is it. First with these spikes and your Zombot's bat, the enemy shouldn't get any closer, but if provoked, they won't be able to help themselves. Free hugs. <laughs> Game is wild. I love the comedy. All right. I, I like how they suggest different builds for your zombie. Like, hey, here's something you can do. Like, put spikes on your zombie and then, like, have them attack it and then they'll take damage from, like, attacking your zombie. I, I like when games do that, when they give you, like, some ideas as to how to mix and match things. Quite clever, actually. Uh, let's go... Let's go south and then back to base. We'll go the long way.
What is that? Sage. All right, what do we use sage for? Collected so much of that. Effective disinfectant. Huh. Hmm. Oh, you think we need him uh, to activate the uh, gold or the collect skill? Increase the amount of scraps recovered by your zombies. It yeah, probably true, yeah. I need to spend five skill points at the bottom though to unlock ones that I really want, like increasing his shotgun damage or range damage. Which I think when I do that, I'll just give him back the other gun. Some of these are kind of meh, and then you just gotta you gotta buy them in order to unlock the other stuff. They're kind of meh. This is the right way. No wonder I went out and didn't go down here. It was like a dead end. It looked like one. Did you hit me with that bucket? build a bridge here? Oh, we can drink. That'll replenish our... Or not. I feel like I should be able to make a bridge there. back and see if we can repair it. Broken hacking helmet. Yeah, maybe I gotta be standing in the right spot. This game has a, a little bit of that where I gotta be in like the right... Oh, there it is. Yeah, we gotta be a little further away. It was the same thing with that gate earlier. Make planks? Yeah, we don't have wood. Combat is good. Good for XP. What do we got for ammo? Fifty one. Time to make some more ammo, brother. Go 
Let's keep going south. Look how pretty the river looks. Pretty. Check this corner. Yahar. logging area. I'll need wood. Oh, there's an axe there. All right, let's see if we can make a bunch of planks. Next time we come across a bridge, we'll repair it. be down. Yeah, this is the free demo, man. Yep. Free demo, yeah. So it looks like it breaks into a couple of different pathways here. Oh, we can fight our way down into another pit. Cool. Let's keep doing it. Sort of the gas. so catchy. Can I get through there without like immediately dying? Okay, I guess I did. Yeah. Got him. Another golden knife. Gotta be a currency for some sort of upgrade. Oh. I realized it was an insta kill. That was kinda silly. I kinda, you know, like dove through it. 
teleport over it, no problem. Kind of dumb. Let's go explore more. It shouldn't be an insta-kill. It should just uh, do a little bit of damage. A little bit. Well, didn't know without trying. Now we know green is instant death. Although it did kind of take a second, to be honest. Right, let's go patrol the perimeter and deal with more of those. I, I want to know what we get from Pedro's knife that way. There's got to be some sort of a late game upgrade for that. Like he must, uh, you know, because he's like a circus clown. You know how they would like tie the assistant to the board and then spin it around and then throw knives at them? Some, probably something like that. Like, oh, go get me my favorite knives and I'll give you a 10% weapon bonus damage. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, we went to Pedro before, but we can't talk to him again. Cool, now we can unlock that. That's what we want. So let me give you, our friend, make another gun. Give him a bucket. Also used as a weapon if you're really desperate. Just don't kick it. Wow. The writing is genius. Okay, let's uh, keep going. We can build a rocket pad at any time. I just don't want it to end things yet. Hope it just doesn't let us go to the moon and that's GG. I don't want that to be the case. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> God, that was a high-level duck. Do you see how long it took to kill him? Okay, we've been down there. Secret base here. Oh, new lore. Another cutscene. Oh, or not? Oh. That's one they didn't put in yet, I think. Badge. Big sad. Yeah, we're playing solo. The demo is only single player. But the full game will have co-op, so two people can play together, like in uh, split screen. Or you can play four players online. That's pretty cool. Right, we want to go up this way. zombie. Our zombie's got, got a lot of fight in him.
around to the left. Uh, this will be on uh, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. From what I remember. I think? What is this little exit sound? They're giving us a lot of sage, and there's these little nooks where sage is found. There's got to be some reason to have it. Oh, is this like a... Oh, it's a dungeon. Like an underground area? Oh, my God. What the... Whoa, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I wasn't ready for that. What the hell? Give me a moment. Jeez. Okay, so that leads, like, to a different part of the map. Let's, let's try that. Sage for bandages? I thought it just took uh, scrap. Oh, you're right. I mean, I thought it took uh, ripped cloth, I meant. Okay, our zombie died. Here, you're a new friend now. Congratulations, you're hired. Wow, that was a hell of a fight. And I just got done saying how strong those guys were. Let's make a bunch of ammo. Let's make a upgrade to your volley shot. Zombots do more range. More wep uh, damage with ranged weapons. Accuracy m may not be there, but when it hits, it hurts. Look at that. Uh, this game's cool. It's just dumb. It's dumb and... It's just fun exploration. It's not serious in any way. And I like it. So that's what that was down there. Oh, that's where it teleported us. When we went through there, it teleported us there. Hmm. Let's go, yeah. Big old open area here. Oh, hi. Good ambush, boys. So heavy armor zombies are still vulnerable to range weapon. Yeah, the heavy armor is pillows, yeah. <laughs> What's kind of cool in this game, though, is that, like, in order to get the armor types and stuff, you have to kill a certain number of those zombies, and they'll drop pieces of it. 
And then when you get enough of it, then you can research it. I mean... changes for the encounters that's what that was so now we're like in a city we're okay I wonder if I kill one of these zombies, if I can make them my, uh, my replacement. Skunk? They can come out of the building, but I can't go in there. Gilbert, thanks for the follow on Twitch. Thanks, guys. Oh, the Twitch follows. I can't go in there. I think that's their base. go any further we do need to be like level 15 maybe we've unlocked more weapons we can check out a base oh that's what the skunk does oh dude that isn't that insta kill cloud 
Imagine that. Killing a thousand zombies and then being killed by a stinky skunk because it stinks. Oh, gross. You smell gross. Secret area there. Maybe that's the end of the map? I don't know. Maybe. Let's go look around a little more. I wish I could go in these buildings, but I don't think we can. They just spawn zombies. This area isn't available. Oh god, they got MGs. Nope. Alright, so we're not able to go in there during the demo, and this area is very dangerous. We gotta go. We're leaving. This guy's got MGs. Check that out. What's up, Screech? Zombies with guns is a crazy concept. It is cool. Sunset Overdrive, I do remember that game, yep. Oh. Need a minion to attack those guys or range. Thanks for all the follows on Twitch, guys. Chat on YouTube if you guys want to follow on Twitch, too. I stream on both now, and uh, if you prefer Twitch, exclamation point Twitch in the uh, YouTube chat. You can follow over there as well. I'd like to. Yeah, we're going to go check out that foggy area over to the other side. Cap a friend. materials more to build yeah El Dorado it was El Dorado then some other uh, 
game as well that we played before. The Seattle City Builders are kind of cool. Alright, we unlocked new armor. We need to go west. All these guys again. Good job, bro. Deleted a zombie outpost there for us. I would like to do more damage as well. Whip my gun, brother, yeah. It looks like these tubes are supposed to send out rare items, but because they get broken in places, they kind of spawn there. So we built a base in a pretty good spot because we got wood, hunting area, and then that to check on, on occasion. Good stuff! That's a ferret, dude. That is totally a ferret. make a torso armor. We need three more leaves. <laughs> By the time I find that, we'll find some sort of like sh sheet metal armor or something that's just way better. How it goes sometimes. Ooh, we can upgrade the saw blade. The mighty Daisy must have eaten a circus technician to get this in her stomach. The mighty Daisy. Well, at least you'll... Oh, wait. Circus technician. Oh, no. We gotta fight an elephant. They showed that in the trailer. We gotta go find a saw blade to upgrade the weapons. Can we make anything new? Well, we can make a crossbow. Need to get a harpoon handle for that. Boomerang seems fun. And these items are just rare. Yeah. yeah, we're going to get the Groot armor. We have a bunch of wood. Okay, let's break everything down. 
Good way to sort the inventory. Oh, there it goes. I think our inventory is unlimited. Just keeps making more space, maybe? All right, should we make this thing? Should we make this launch pad and see what happens? Aim for the stars, you can land on the moon. Upgrade this with a rocket engine. Primary engine of a Moon W rocket abandoned on the launch pad after the test flights have ended. We gotta build a, a rocket now. Alright. So we've completed the main story stuff that's available in the demo, but nothing's stopping us from exploring. We went all the way to. Uh, oh, we can't go through that. We went to Tusk Town. Let's see if we can go here. We fast travel. Oh yeah, we can fast travel from the base. Sweet. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Game good? Yeah, so far. This is certainly one that I want to actually play through. I actually wanted to play through another game like this called um, Dismantle. Because it's just goofy dumb fun with some different gameplay elements. You know, we all, we like the whole hardcore realistic, you know, open world zombie survival games, top down or first person or third person, but this is different. This is just fun. This band got a DLC with 22 pets, a new island, new tools. It's a good game. Ooh, get wrecked. Wow. Get wrecked, sir. over here. Where all the sage was. Sage. And yeah, they have fanny packs, yeah. Tactical resource pouch. How would you describe it? Zomboid less serious? Yes, maybe a little bit more like Humanity Z. But it's... Um, Think of Dead Island or um, Dead by Daylight, but top down, but more lighthearted. Like it's just it's jokes and memes, and it's just goofy. The cutscenes certainly show that. Oh boy. Yeah, you know, in, in the video that I put out on this one, um, tons of people watched that video and they mentioned a few other games that this developer made or games that were like this. And they were like, oh, I love that game. This one looks cool. It was, it was good to see. There were people mentioning a game I'd never heard of and I was like, oh, cool. Play that. Also, another dumb fun game is that... Um, chat, what's that shooter... I think it's called Zombie War 3. Isn't that like the World War 2 one? Or 4. I think it's Zo Zombie Army 4 or something. It's like a World War 2 
zombie shooter, which is not it, not really serious. Yeah. Oh, I just appreciate games that try to be fun. What is that? A latch? Another tube. Yeah, the day before. Yeah. You know, good games that people love. Yeah. A new zombie gear, quite a bit of it. Are you stuck, buddy? Yeah, come over here. Oh no. The hardest enemy in the game is right here. There we go. Down? No fight. Zombie army. Ooh, lots of bridges here. And these actually lead into a new area, I think. Well, at least we haven't been up here. New area unlocked. I like the way the game looks. I love games now with the pretty grass and the rocks and the trees. It looks so pretty. Well, this is a friendly base. Activate. Oh, it's the defenses. Whose base is this? Oh, yeah, I heard that too. How to survive is a good comparison. Yeah, people were saying that too. They were like, oh, how to survive. Yep, yeah, I've heard that. I don't think this hurts us, does it? No. Oh wait, there's a new character. Who's, who's that? Kate. Katie Joe Johnson? Annie's infirmary. Okay. Annie and Kate are here. Hi ladies. Might not be able to talk to him because it's the demo and they haven't put in a quest for them. Sag. Yeah, it's the same devs, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. People were like, oh, this is like their other game, How to Survive. Okay, so there should be these we should be able to talk to these ladies, but they're We can't because of the demo. It's fine. It's fine, I'm not mad. People are missing a lot of armor. This is the uh, amputee ward from Frostpunk? What the hell? Oh wow, you just hanging your nice right there next to the dumpster? What? Game is weird. Now let's go down here. We'll see what's down here. Then we'll go up north. What's up, Sharky to you? Good to see you. Oh, can we switch between a group of followers? Um, we get to pick a character in this game, but you, it's just generic. You just pick random survivor, 1 through 12. And uh, I don't think we get to pick That's something there. That's got to be maybe a battery. Oh, we got more sage for more bandages. We need that. I 
love the weather effects in this game too. Day night cycle with random rain. Crazy. What is this point called? Annie's camp, okay. Let's go north. I suspect that perhaps this isn't the whole map of the game. That we might go to other locations. And I feel like a player could explore these areas pretty quick within a matter of hours. So maybe what I imagine is that with that rocket pad we put down, maybe we can travel to different places around Earth or something. And then eventually, like, come back here for... Maybe it's the type of game where, like, certain resources are found here. Like, maybe we're in the forest, but then there's, like, a desert map. Maybe. Speculating. More leaves. Let's see if we can make that armor. One more. You know, chap, we're uh, deep in the woods and I don't see a bear. We've been playing for a few hours, so this could be game of the year. A game where I... <laughs> my game of the year where there's no bears. Dave the Diver didn't have bears. Did, um... I don't think Dredge had bears either from last year. Mm-hmm. Checks out. Paradise Drive... Uh, par uh, um... Pacific Drive. Pacific Drive doesn't have bears so far. Guys, it's a bear-free year, possibly. Oh, my God. God. Project Zomboid doesn't have bears. Right. There's so much more to explore. What if there's like a hidden secret out here, like a boss battle or something? Yeah, Dave's getting uh, Godzilla, which looks amazing. We watched the, uh, I don't know if you guys saw our uh, Frostpunk stream last night, but we, at the end of our Frostpunk stream, we went and watched this PlayStation State of Play. And they showed more of Death Stranding 2, which looked amazing, and then they announced that Dave the Diver's coming to PlayStation, and it'll get a, uh, a DLC for everybody, I think, for... Um, Godzilla free update, I think. I don't think you're going to have to pay for it. but Godzilla's just a giant radioactive bear. Alright, I have questions. Key line. Almost died. Well, these dudes shoot back. Right? They hit hard. going in with melee. can't go muddy's forest oh muddy forest entrance okay that's a whole new biome i'd imagine it's the same situation here oh wait there's something up there let's go there can you have more than one zombie friend i think so I haven't been able to unlock that. It could be something through the story. Like right here it says one. But I think eventually it'll say like 
one of two or something if we've only got one. So we can get two. <laughs> Feeling when a zombie bites you, that's what you like it. Dave the Diver is going to have Godzilla. Isn't that worse? I mean, I like Dave, so no. Plus, honestly, we had played Dave the Diver like three or four times in a row, and I was like, guys, there's new Dredge content. Let's go see it. I played that three times in a row. We didn't get a chance to see it. But now, uh, we're like right there. Like the last time we played, at the end of when we played, uh, now we can, now we can uh, see the new content. Now we're going to see the new dredge content. Oh god, the bees. Not the bees! So now we got to finish the dredge stuff before we see the Godzilla stuff, because Dave, Dave is just a good time. Error. So it was just a stage. Dead end. So yeah, because there's temperature gauges in this game, I, I could imagine us going to a desert or to, like, the Arctic. Uh, go back to that medical post and we'll fast travel. Would you people calm down? Zero ducks given. Yeah, we need more Dave. Well, I hope... I hope they bring more Duff into Dave. Duff is freaking hilarious, and I hope somehow he has something to... You know, actually, that would make sense, right? Because uh, Duff is such a big fan of, like, K-pop and anime and all that stuff. You'd think he would have something to do with Godzilla. Like, he would be, like, a big fan of the movies or something like that, like... They could angle it that way. Okay, I didn't activate the forest center. I need to repair that bridge. Yeah, no durability loss in this game. Kind of nice. You know, honestly, I think games that do durability loss, like Enshrouded or uh, Valheim, are nice. Except. When you get back with Valheim, you gotta spam that repair button, but repairs are free. But, at least with, uh, Enshrouded, you just touch a bench and everything's repaired. Okay, so we gotta go that way. Come on, Zom friend. We shall name him Bradford. Yeah, no weight limit either. Did we level up again? Yet? Got a long way to go to level 15. Oh, more rare stuff. An old tire. In that pipe? Oh. Got the bulletproof. Let's see if they let us go further north. My bet is no. These are gun zombies.
I guess we are able to go further north. YouTube was blurry, yeah. So, uh, for the last month, I've been streaming on Twitch and YouTube at about, um, typically we stream at about 9,000 bit rate. I bopped it down to about 7 for Twitch and YouTube. And uh, sometimes both YouTube and Twitch are blurry no matter what bit you rate you have it at. Sometimes it's on their servers. Sometimes it's on your end where YouTube thinks that you, uh, like you, you had a drop in your internet connection so it lowers the quality or something. So we entered a hot area? You're entering a hot area. Regulate your temperature to avoid heat stroke by drinking plenty of fluids. Ooh. Outpost desert entrance. Well, there you go. Here's your desert. See if we can actually go in this area for we'll die. Well, it's a little warmer, but we're good. Oh my god. Deer. Yeah, co-op mo mode should be a lot of fun. I wonder if everybody gets to build their own base. I hope so. I get up just to die. That's awesome. That is a very difficult area because they have the, um, yeah, they have a rain. Oh, here. Oh, we're still in the fight. Oh, never mind. It's like nothing happened. They've got m armored due to a resistant to melee, and then they've got, what happened? Oh, we went home? No, I don't want to go home. I'm not ET. I want to go back to the desert. Yeah, they have pillow armor, so that, like, deflects my, um... Oh, damn, it's Mario tubes. I didn't even see that. Hey, what the hell? That's my helmet. Oh, that's me! I gotta beat the hell out of zombie myself. Die, me! There we go. An imposter. This is the actual me. Ooh. We got a machete unlocked? I might need to go back to the base to make that. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be a difficult thing. Yeah, common machete. How do I use that? 
that better than what I got? EPA. Oh, it does 50. Oh, a little bit more damage. Let's go. All right, now we got a machete. Now we're now we're now we're talking. All right, let's try it again. Immediately shot. Awesome. Try to pull everyone. Cotton Eye Joe. Those guys suck because they'll knock your ass down. And then the other dudes will swarm you and then beat the hell out of you. So now we're starting to actually see some zombie tactics, dude. These guys have some... hate to say it regarding zombies, but big brains. Yeah. Actually, I don't range these uh, range guys, too. They got some better um better weapons up here. Oh, nice job, dude. See if I can fight him and then uh, shoot the thingies. It's working. Nope, it's not working. Very bad. Let's lure them outside. Food can, I need that. No. Yeah. 
Got him. Okay, they won't be responding anymore. Actually unlocked heavy armor. Okay, we can go back. We can teleport back to our base very easily. We did it. We got the heavy armor. It took a lot of fighting, but we got it. We clear this place out. Now we got it. Chest in here too. Is there a sandstorm coming? Oh, I got some heavy armor. Yeah. We unlock a new type of armor. Might spawn out of these. Here, but we're still good. Surprised that the zombies' defenses didn't stop me. Like we pushed right in. No problem. Uh, he's fine. Good luck, bro. Alright, let's head further into the desert. down in the canyon. We got a new type of armor. Can I wear that? We destroyed that enemy cam. What's up, Deathbringer? Welcome, dude. Oh, hey, a friendly camp. And there's Davis. The full bottle of water, I think. Probably drink that to cool down. And of course, it's locked. We'll have to do some quest or something to get in there. Or not. Maybe there's a way around. So there's the desert, I guess, and we we'll do some quests for that guy, maybe. Hello, mm. Vera. I need some new weapons. I think some of the stuff we found in those tubes maybe have given us um, some weapons or items that we need to make weapons. now. Okay, let's see if we break some stuff down. Wow, 530 scrap. Okay, so that stopped us from being over encumbered.
Oh yeah, temperature drop now that it's nighttime in the desert. That's cool. So, temperature rises in the desert and is cold in the nighttime. As it should. Yo, Scroobius. Thank you very much, dude. Glory to Raptoria, death to Zombos. Chicken nuggies for chat. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the nugs, bro. Okay. We didn't activate that point. Some of these things we can't interact with anymore. Let's go there. Then we can go there. I will just quickly go to the center. Mario. <laughs> Zombie falls right on his face. back in this area. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that music was like catching chickens from a chicken coop. 100%. Undo 10. Who's up here? Oh, is this bombs? And I never activated the thing. That's matter. Okay. I guess we could teleport and fix that bridge, too. Try to say we 100% of the demo. In a way. Our own 100%. How many zombies can you have? In the demo, just one, but I'm pretty certain we can get way more than that. I'm gonna build this bridge real quick. Breath. Stop it, zombie. Okay, every bridge across the river is built. Enemy camp up there was pretty much destroyed. We built the rocket thing. We went through the thing that brought us to the little ba ba bonus battle area. We went up into uh, Tusk Town, but I couldn't go any further. Yeah, there's a, a couple areas here and there, but overall... We're Gucci. All right, let's go home and see if we can make new weapons. Where are we at? All right, we're going to go back to uh, Bob's. No, Pedro's. Mm -hmm. Wee, 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 wee. Wee, 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 wee. The circus is gone, but the clowns remain. Oh, okay. Pedro, can I ride the Ferris wheel? Oh. I'd give you a knife. Ten refined air pump gun. I don't know. I feel like the range is much better. Common bow, common crossbow. Legendary air pistol. Make that level eleven. Current one's eight, so that'd be a little better. That would have been better for the area we were in. Fortunately, we haven't found a harpoon handle, so we can't make that. I did find a food lid or something. Oh, that's what that needed. Oh, cans. Yeah. Let's make that.
Grab some junk. And let's put on our new gun, brother. Oh, it's already there. DPS 105. Wow. Upgrade level 3 of 4. At least for that weapon type, so there must be one higher than legendary. And then, do we have any more skill points? Nah, we're pretty close to level 15, though. And we didn't find that saw blade. So one of those quests got to be to fight that circus elephant. And that's let, what's let us upgrade the uh, weapon bench. Thanks, Screech. Thank you. All right, we couldn't go to the muddy forest entrance. There was a wall. There's literally a wall there with that guy. What was his name? Davis. The Davis Desert. That's why. So there's so there's like the regular forest, the muddy forest, the desert, and then maybe some other biomes north of that and then whatever this is but I feel like there's got to be more to the map than this love the way the buildings look though this kind of reminds me of when we played that fun game bum simulator where we built our cool base that way through there was nice super cool super super cabra super cool bro all right well that's pretty much it guys um for the demo I think I think we found all the, uh, we found everything that there was for the demo, maybe. Oh, I may have missed some stuff, but you guys can definitely download it if you want to on Steam. All right, guys, we're going to go to uh, Enshrouded here in just a little bit with uh, She Fox, Dirty, maybe Lumberjack, and of course Red. So make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, hit the follow button on Twitch. I'm going to take a little break, and then I'll be back for more. I love our character. He finally actually looks a little different it's got the zombie mask and everything going on very nice all right welcome to paradise comes out at the uh, end of february on like the uh, what was it 24th or something so we'll definitely check this one out when it fully drops uh then all right i'll see y'all in a bit thank you very much chat for watching